Huh. Placeholder, Jessica. You're still here? Didn't we do this joke already? You don't look so good. Oh, you say you're dehydrated? Well, here, have some water then. You're welcome. Oh, thanks, other Jessica. I'm hydrated now. Okay, I've been waiting here for a while to tell you about some exciting updates around hydration. Follow me. Ah, here we are. I promise this is a different liminal space than before. You can tell by the plant. Oh, we got rid of that. Anyway, so back in V16, we added support for full application hydration. This ensures your server-side rendered HTML is reused when your application bootstraps on the client side. And then in V17, we added deferrable views, also known as defer blocks. Deferrable views are Angular's native primitive for declaratively defer loading chunks of your application. And then in V18, we added event replay, which ensures none of your users' interactions are lost before hydration finishes. All of these features brought us to this point where we are now. We've been able to build on all three of these things to bring you the next step in hydration. We call it incremental hydration. So what is it? Well, full application hydration is great, but it requires that your entire application is hydrated all at once, which also means that the JavaScript that supports the HTML is also present. Now, deferrable views reduce some of that JavaScript, but the trade-off is that the rendered placeholder block content is different from the eventual main content. So why do we have to render the placeholder content on the server? Why can't we render the actual content? Well, the answer is because that content all has to be hydrated at the same time with full application hydration, which would mean having to fetch all the JavaScript that you said you wanted to defer until later. And that negates the entire purpose of defer blocks. But we thought, well, what if we could render the template on the server side so that it looks like it should after the defer block is triggered and then on the client side leave that content dehydrated skipping the need for fetching the javascript that's what incremental hydration is here's how it works defer blocks have a set of triggers which you're already probably familiar with immediate idle timer interaction viewport and hover and as a quick recap of how defer blocks work, in your template, you can use at defer and then add one of these triggers, for example, on interaction. This trigger specifies when the deferrable view dependencies are fetched. And once they've been fetched, the placeholder content goes away and the main content is rendered. Incremental hydration builds on this functionality and adds a new set of similar triggers. We call these hydrate triggers. They're all the same exact triggers you're already familiar with. Again, that's immediate, idle, timer, interaction, viewport, and hover. But with one additional one, never. More on that never. I mean, later, more on that later. To use a hydrate trigger in a defer block, add it as a trigger parameter like this, hydrate on viewport. By adding a hydrate trigger, we signal to the server that we want the defer block to render the actual content, meaning fetch the defer block dependencies and render the main template of your defer block instead of the placeholder block. Specifically, do all of this on the server, but not on the client. When this content reaches the browser, Angular will leave it dehydrated until that hydrate trigger fires. And when the hydrate trigger fires, the deferred JavaScript is fetched and the content is hydrated. So it's loaded eagerly on the server, but it is deferred on the client. And that means your client-side JavaScript bundle will be much smaller and faster to bootstrap while also having no temporary placeholder block content. And when your content hydrates, there's no layout shift or flickering that occurs just like full application hydration. 
How cool is that? Defer blocks are the perfect tool for this task because you've already told Angular this content is less important and doesn't need to be present yet. Your users will be unaware that no JavaScript exists yet for the content that they're viewing. All they know is the site is fast and it looks great. And this works well because your server is much closer to your content and has higher and more consistent resources than any of your users will have. So why not utilize those higher resources to save your users from having to do this work locally? You may be asking, hydrated placeholder, Jessica, what happens if someone tries to interact with the content that's dehydrated? Well, let's talk about event replay. Well, let's talk about event replay. Whoa, deja vu. As I mentioned, back in V18, we introduced event replay support. Event replay uses a library developed by Google's Wiz team to support just such a case. This library allows events to be captured and queued up to be replayed later. And using this behavior, we can make sure all of the interactions with dehydrated content are captured, trigger hydration, and get replayed when your content is ready. So none of your user actions are left behind. The library is also tiny, coming in at about 600 bytes. So your users won't even know it's there doing this magic for them. Earlier, I mentioned the new trigger, never. There may be cases where you have content that doesn't need to be hydrated, like static content from a blog or something similar. Hydrate never is the solution for that. It ensures that the content inside that block never triggers hydration. And because of that, never needs to ship any JavaScript on the initial load. This is an awesome option that gives you a new, great way to reduce the overhead of the static content in your apps. Incremental hydration is now available as a developer preview in Angular v19, and we're so excited for you to try it out. We really think you're going to love it. To start using it, just add with incremental hydration to your provide client hydration call. And then you can start adding hydrate triggers to your application's defer blocks. We can't wait to see what you build using incremental hydration. This feature will certainly help your apps live long and prosper. Hydration is an initial load optimization. So that means if you refresh your page, your content will be dehydrated again. No, wait, don't do it right now. That was, that was pretty, that was pretty.